Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 470. I don't know about you guys, but for me, the number one thing missing from my router experience has been flower vase functionality. I mean, after I was able to start moving data around the house using wireless in, I was excited, but I kept looking at my router hidden under the chair, and sometimes I would just yell at it. You're fast, all right, no doubt about that, but you're doomed to live under that chair because you have zero, and I mean it, zero flower vase functionality. Well, STC, a telecom company based in Saudi Arabia, must be in tune with my frustration because they are the first to bring to market a router with flower vase functionality. STC, like me, was in need for a unique router design that would provoke a positive emotional response. Obviously, these guys have been yelling at their routers too, and they needed something that, in their words, bridges the gap between lifestyle and technology. Now, in all seriousness, I'd rather have a router I could rack mount and hide, but if you've been looking for one with flower vase functionality, Merry Christmas! It's the day you've been waiting for. We're making our way back home a little slower than we planned. Neil has a cold with fever, and we just can't seem to get him enough cowbell. Guess what? I got a fever! And the only prescription is more cowbell. Mac Rumors published this handy little chart of Mac discounts for those of you planning to purchase a new Mac between now and Black Friday night. The chart compares discounts from Best Buy and Mac Mall with the Apple retail price. Apple stores may be matching those prices, so it's probably a good idea to print proof of the best deal before you shop. Some lucky geek briefers are letting me know they've received their pre-ordered Canon 5D Mark IIs. If you're one of the lucky ones and you shoot some video or stills over Thanksgiving, I'd love it if you share the links with the rest of us. Just put the link in comments for Brief 470 at www. Geekbrief.tv. I can't wait to see. I pre-ordered from Ritz Camera and my order is still showing up as on back order. I called Ritz and the customer service rep I talked to said they started getting tons of phone calls yesterday as word began to spread that some people had gotten theirs. All she was authorized to say is that they expect shipments to go out by December. Back in July, Ogizbo introduced us to a very cool treatment that could weatherproof electronic gadgets. It's called the Golden Shellback Coating System. The process produces a vacuum deposited film that can protect plastic, copper, aluminum, metal, ceramic, steel, tin, or glass. The company makes no promises of waterproofing, although demos show devices continuing to work after being submerged in water. The process is now available for a handful of products, including the BlackBerry Pearl, the iPod Shuffle, the iPod Touch, and the Garmin GPS e trucks Evan Ackerman over at Ogizmo speculates they're only rolling out the process on a few gadgets that accept the splash-proofing process, and that soon you'll be able to golden shell back almost anything you want. As far as I'm concerned, the worst words I ever have to append to a story in Geek Brief are these. Not available in the U.S. I know it's an international show, but I don't always think that way when I'm writing. A new online store just launched that may just all but banish the phrase from my life. The store is called Gizmine.com, and they sell stuff from Japan that no one probably needs. Stuff like a poking box. It's a device with a finger hole. After your finger is inserted into the hole, you can poke digital things digitally. Nobody needs that, but you have the right to want it, and if you want it, it's now available in the U.S. That's it, everyone. Send Neil more cowbell. I gotta have more cowbell. Hopefully his fever will go away before this show is up. This episode is brought to you by the HP Media Smart Server. It has an iTunes server built in. That means it'll deliver your media across your network, but you can also configure each of your PCs to deliver new media to the Media Smart Server. So if mom buys a song, it's available on dad's PC too. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. functionality. Ah, ah, ah. I'm not. Yes, you are. I am.